Hey kids, welcome to unit five, lesson 10, shifting a 2D array, number two. Debug the program. The program is supposed to shift the elements in the row to the left by the value given for shift, but it has an error. Find and fix the error of the program. Let's take a look at our code. This looks like our code from the last lesson. We have three rows of an array. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. We're printing the original array, running the shift array method, and then printing the array again. Let's look at array shifter. In array shifter, we have our print statement. This is going to each of the elements in the row and column and printing them off. And then we have our shift array. And if you remember from the last lesson, much like when we're trying to swap elements, we need a temporary variable because once we swap something into an element, we're going to lose that value. We are storing our temporary variable here. And that is the first element. We're going through each of the elements in the array and we're moving them over by one. And then we're going to the end of the array and putting that first element in. Let's go ahead and hit run and see what error we get. Our first array runs right. Then we get an out of bounds exception index three is out of bounds for length three. And I think our error here is coming from line 18. Our array is three long, one, two, three, indexes zero, one, two. As long as we are less than three, is gonna be greater than the length of our array. I think if we just put minus one here and hit run, that's gonna fix our issue. Well, let's see if I'm right. and it looks like our array shifted properly. Key takeaway from this lesson is just understanding this shift array method. Again, remember, whenever we are swapping or moving numbers, we need a temporary variable to store it. Otherwise, when we swap something into that element's position, we're going to override it and in coding you can either print or store something and that is it hopefully this video helped you understand shifting a 2d array a little better as always kids if you have any questions uh, come see me otherwise i'll see you in the next videos see you later kids bye bye